Right, so this is the easiest part of me. So let's go to the question. They say, find the maximum length of HT. So I want you to get this length of HT, maximum HT. At what value of X will HT be at the longest? So look here, man. You see, if you look here for HT, HT is the distance or length between parabola and straight line. So whenever you have a two graph, and somebody asks you, for example, excuse me, if somebody give you, let's say you have a uh, this type of equation here, and they have a line here, they say, fine, let's say this length here, this is length from Tuana to Abantu, or from Chicago to California, or from Mali to Ghana. So if you want to get Mali to Ghana, let's say Mali to Ghana, right, so this is Mali to Ghana, so if you want to get the distance from Mali to Ghana, excuse me, you're going to have to take the top graph minus the bottom graph. So you're going to say, let's say this is K of X, and this is... Uh, Let's say Nigeria of X. So we're gonna say okay. So length Mali Ghana of X means length equal. You take upper graph, which is K of X minus Nigeria of X. So that's you're gonna get the length of Mali to Ghana. So this is just an example, right? So or somebody gives something like this, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me. They give a little graph here, they say, oh so wait or let's say okay, so we have a graph like this, and then somebody's okay. What the distance here? Find the distance from Soweto to Tanzania. Okay. So Soweto to Tanzania. So I'm gonna say okay. So let's say this graph here is Congo. Okay. So this is Congo of X, and this linear here is, uh, is Kenya of X. Kenya of X. Congo of X and Kenya of X. So when I get distance from Tanzania to Soweto, South Africa. So we're gonna say okay to get distance from uh, change in here so where to South Africa take the upper graph but what is upper graph Congo so we say Congo minus Kenya of X so that's how you get the distance from change in here so where to so we're gonna apply the same strategy here right so come back going back to the graph now let's go back to a graph it's okay so which graph is on top the graph is on top is G of X and the graph with the bottom is F of X look here man I mean G of X is on top is lying on top of F of X, so we're gonna say okay, so what ST? So we're gonna say ST distance equal okay. What is the upper graph? G of X. So we say G of X minus F of X. But we had this graph from the previous equation. We did already obtain these two graphs. But just in case if you want you don't want to refer from the previous equation, these are value called F of X and G of X. So G of X, you got it. So it's okay. So G of X we know, so I'm gonna say okay, so is t equal to what is the g of x half x square okay plus 3x and then minus 2 minus 2 and a half 2 and a half 2 and a half yeah, 2 and a half okay, so we're going to minus all these are going to minus minus our fx what is the fx negative a half x and then plus half so guys listen man these two graphs from the previous solving previous equation but if you don't want to refer to the previous equation these one here we obtain already let's just say this we obtain we solve already f of x and g of x so we solve now so say this is st is going to be equal to let's simplify now okay so this is square it doesn't have any friends or relative here right so we're going to say it's okay so just a half is going to stay the way how it is now we go 3x so we're going to go okay so this x means coefficient of x, also we have coefficient of x, negative, negative, positive, so we're going to say, okay, so we have the 3x here, and the plus a half x, now we go for the number, so this negative 2, this negative, 2 and a half, and then negative, and positive is negative 5 over 2, so now we can just simplify, and the problem is done, so we finish already, man, is that this same is a, the pen, this same is a, a half x squared, Okay, now, 3x plus uh, half x, you can just work it out that one, but of course it has to be uh, 7 over 2. So, you can just work it out 7 over 2x. Now you go, uh, negative 2 and a half minus negative 5 over 2 and a half, it has to be negative 10 over 2. Negative 10 over 2. I can work it out for you. Oh, this is going to be 5, 5, uh, 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 1, 4 plus 1 equals 5. 5 over 2, and then minus 5 over 2. So it's negative and negative now. The base are the same. So I'm going to say 2. Negative 5 minus negative 5. Negative 10 over 2, which is equal to negative 5. So these two here, I'm going to say negative 5 straight away. Excuse me. 
So that's called being negative five. So I can just say negative five here. Is negative ten over two, but negative ten over two is negative five. It's going to be negative five. So let me just erase this stuff here. Okay, so, excuse me. So we got our equation. A distance xt in the form of quadratic is a half x squared plus 7 over 2x minus 5. But that's not final equation, right? They say find xt and where is going to be the maximum length. Okay, what that means? Look, man, this is quadratic we got it. So now whenever you have a quadratic, for example, let's assume this is a quadratic. Any quadratic. Let's just assume quadratic. Okay, if this quadratic come and turn this way, where the maximum length of this quadratic? The maximum length is where this graph come and turn. Because look here, man, for example, let's say I measure the height from here to where the graph turn. Look here, length will be shorter, length will be shorter, shorter, shorter. Of course, here where the graph is gonna turn, the length will be longer or longer than anywhere else. So now we're gonna say, okay, so now, this graph, I just got it now. This quadratic, I just got it now, right? You know what I'm saying? I have to get the turning point of this graph. If I get the turning point, it means that's going to be a maximum a maximum length of ST. I hope you got that point that I said before, right? You catch it? Okay, i say it again. If you have parabola like this, where the maximum length of this parabola? The maximum length of this parabola, look. Of course, it's here. Look. Here's maximum length. So, but how we call that point? That's a tiny point. So, for this graph here, I mean, for this quadratic, I have to get a tiny point of this part here, and then done. That's going to be the maximum length of ht because this is general length of ht. So, get maximum length. I'm going to get tiny points. So, let me find tiny points. I will start with the x and tiny points. To get x and tiny points is easy, man. We got a little formula here. We say negative u over. To a and to get y at time points, we got also little formulas. I'm gonna show you two ways, right? You can solve this. Y at time points, you can also use a formula, you can substitute. I'll show them both. Okay, for formula y at time points, say a, b, c, 4ac over 4a. I'll say it again. This is a formula that you use to find the y at time points. So, how we say? You say for AC minus B square over is over and then take the just say 4AC 4AC minus B square and then see this part here right here down easy man down on right so let's get it so okay so let's get uh, x a ton of pains so x a ton of pain negative what is our B? B equals 7 over 2 so B equals 7 over 2 here this is B for quadratic equation so there's a B B 7 over 2 and then over 2 times a. What is a? A equal to half. Okay, so we can simplify this stuff here. Look here, man. The reason is a cancel. So, <laughs> done. So, the answer is going to be everything divided by 1 because this is going to be 1 and 1. So, 1 times 1 and 1 times 1 is 1. So, the denominator is 1. Anything divided by 1 is that something. If you take in Toronto of Bound Academy, divide by 1 means it's going to be Toronto Bound Academy. So, for that case now, so I'm saying, so now, Negative 7 over 2 divided by 1 is going to be negative 7 over, over 2. Or you could say how many? Uh, 2 is 7. We have 3. We left it to 1 over 2 negative. So this is x at time point. So x at tp equal to negative 7 over 2 or negative 3.5 or 3 and a half. Let's get y at time point. You know what I'm saying? Just like I say, for you to know the maximum displacement, you have to get time points. So y at time points. I can use formula, but also other people I'll show you a lot of people how they do. But let's use a formula, and then I'm going to show you the other for, the other way that you can get y turn points, right? So let me just make this place like this. So is it extra turn points? So let's get y turn points. Y turn points, okay? So y turn points, we say here y turn points equal to four ac minus b square over four a. So we say okay, y turn points equal to four. What is a a? A equal to a half. So a equal to a half. C. What is a c? C equal to negative five. So let's go negative five. Minus b. What is b? 7 over 2. Square over. For a means this one. So 4 times a half. So let's simplify, man. <laughs> Done. Okay, so. Okay, by 2, 1, by 2, 2. So it's 2. 2 times negative 5 equal to negative 10. And then minus 7 square for the 9. And then 2 square equal to 4. And then over. By 2, 1, by 2, 2. So we just left it 2. So now we say, okay. 
They simplify, right? So to simplify, white ton of pains. So white ton of pains, you can get it, man. So white ton of pain, when you simplify further, it has to be a simplified, right? So it's gonna be one one over eight. So see, white ton of pains is gonna be a uh, one one over eight. So take calculator, wake it out. No, you don't need to do the calculator. Let's wake it up. Okay, let's wake it up together. So this one here, let me say one. So I'm gonna say four times negative ten. Let's wake it up. Four times negative ten. So this and this. Four times negative ten is negative forty. Minus one times negative four. Uh, one times forty nine. Forty nine over. One times four equal to four, and then over, over two. But a mathematical right this is a y a ton of points equal to. But a mathematical, excuse me, <coughs> mathematical. I can take this one here, acceptable, it's acceptable. So you're gonna say, okay, so y a ton of points equal to negative forty. It's gonna be negative eighty nine over eight. Okay, so how many eight in eight and nine? Man, oh man. Made a little mistake here. Let's see if it. All right. So everything perfect, but the only mistake that I, it's not a mistake actually, right? It's just the question. This question should have a. I mean, the question that I obtained before is not half x squared. It's negative half x squared. It's negative half x squared. So even here has to be negative. Excuse my apology, right? This has to be negative. All the way has to be negative. They use the white paint here, man. Everything's perfect, but it has to be negative. So. If this negative means our A here has to be negative and our answer has to be positive, positive. So I'm saying, so our X a ton of points has to be positive. So 4 times A, A has to be, A has to be negative. So this has to be negative. So if this negative, then negative and negative has to be positive. So 40 minus 49, it has to be just 9 and not 89 anymore. So I'm saying, Okay, so that's how the question should be copied. I forgot the negative. So now 40 minus 49, it has to be 9 over over 8. How many 8 in 9? So they are 1 and be left with 1 over 8. So these are y are tiny prints. These are y are tiny prints. So for that case, now choose me. So what you need is tiny prints. So what you need is tiny prints and more specific. Y a ton of pain. So now you're gonna see your ton of pains. Let me use this pain, man. I like uh, these. Uh, okay, this pain here. So ton of pains. What is my ton of pain? My ton of pains is three and a half and one one over eighty. That's my ton of pains. But now they say what is the maximum length of ht? But ht is y. Look, ht is y. So my maximum length. Maximum length. It has to be 1, 1 over 80 unit. You know why I say unit? Because it can be meter, centimeter, kilometer. So it's going to be 1, 1 over 8. And that's a final answer. Thank you for your time and I appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, and share with other people. Thanks so much. All right. So like I say, you know, if you, if you find like, if you feel like this video was very helpful, and you know, Please, man, try to share with other people because there's a lot of people out there. They want to find the shortest method, you know, so that they can, you know, get to solve the problem quickly, easily, and, you know, get to understand the concept better details, you know what I'm saying? So, please, man, share with other people, leave the comments. Man, you guys don't ask me the questions, man. Sometimes I get mad, like, man, man, means you don't have any questions? Leave the comments, share with your friends, your neighbor, your body. Cars and friends, so that we get to you know to get help other people achieve their goals. Thank you so much, I appreciate, man. You know the reason why I'm here is just for you guys, man. So you know, please, anytime if you have any questions, you can pass to me. You you can also reach on my YouTube channel and you know same YouTube channel on Twitter page also and my Facebook page too, man. This is Toronto Battle, man. Toronto World Battle Academy. Thanks a lot, man. I love you, man. I love you so much, man. So you guys leave a comments, get me questions.